All right, g'day. So I'm just out here camping. I've got my little magic bullet sporting the 4 and 20 because hemp is abundance. Anyway, so check the theory video of this video for the theory of what's going on here. That's a naranja, amaga, sour orange, banana, celery, and just a lemon. And the tea, the liquid there. Actually, I should put a bit more in, but that'll do. And that's it. it takes one minute. It takes a, another minute to peel the fruit. <laughs> so that's two minutes, you know. It Really, it's like five minute a deal. Because the tea is prepared. I've got... Um, hibiscus which is giving it that red look there's lemon in there <clears throat> so it's lemon water and it's hibiscus tea and uh, stevia to make it sweet okay because we've got a sour orange in there and sour lemon and quabra pedra the other tea in here and quabra pedra is a really good dissolver of uh, the kidneys. I'm going to shoot a $30 bandit food plant teaching video on Quabra Pedra soon, <clears throat> but to check the molecular action, because I have no idea how it's dissolving, what molecules it's using or whatever. So lemon though, um, if you see in the theory video, I talk a little bit about the anti, like parasitical nature and when I talk any parasite, I mean from worm to bacteria. They're all parasitical if they're parasitical, because the definition of parasite is like the opposite to um, symbiont or symbiotic, basically. <clears throat> kind of, you know what I mean? It's like energy stealing, not mutual energy and exchange and stuff. Anyway, so they're taking from your body the parasites. This is an antibacterial smoothie, okay? Um, it, it's shamanic because it's so sour. And it's a bit of an ordeal. It's not an ordeal poison. I'm not exactly, you know, putting my hand into, uh, you know, a, a, a nest of ants here. <laughs> but when you when you do just the, without the banana some days, some days I haven't even had the banana. And I've just had to do the sour orange and the sour lemon. And, you know, really that's the core of this. And that's what it's all about. Everything else, the celery, the banana is just periphery. Um... You know, I talk about that in the theory video, the banana is basically for energy and keeping the vibration up and it'll take you closest to your light body and the celery is like, so you have some nutrition and some sodium because you're going to get like, you know, fruit and veg is like a lot of potassium a lot of the time. So if you're putting in other things with potassium <clears throat> as well, like the banana, you know, so just to balance it a bit, that celery, and give me a little bit of nutrition. I have been using just grass, just the grass. Um, and I've been using chard, and you can use parsley. These, these four are really good for this smoothie. That's all I want you to really do, though. I want you to, like, keep on this. Um, and qu quabra pedra. Um, quabra pedra. Q-U-A-B-R-A, I think. Pedra. Quabra pedra. And... Um, you know, I don't know how it's dissolving, but this tea is, you know, meant to balance the sourness a bit. I've also taken this just without the tea and the banana for a lot of the time. Um, so it's a bit of an ordeal. <laughs> uh, but that's why I'm showing you it with this, because you can sweeten the deal, and you can sweeten the deal without sugar. Because the stevia is in there. You know, 200 times stronger than sugar, apparently, they reckon, or sweeter, sorry, than sugar. And yes, it is a sweet deal because you don't get any parasitical action, and in fact, it is anti-Lyme disease and antibacterial, the stevia. And then you've got hibiscus, the diuretic, you know, in there, and um, it's going to clean your blood, too, drinking a lot of hibiscus water. <clears throat> so... You know, that, that's to sweeten the deal. And the banana, really, I originally put the banana in just to sweeten the deal because it was so sour with just the lemon and the sour orange and the ranja amaga. And then you put in something like chard and it's bitter and sour and it's, you know, it's a pretty horrible flavor. But stevia and hibiscus, okay? And the, and the quabra pedra just hides in the background because it's like flavorless. One of those really good flavorless ones. Um, I don't find any bad flavor to quadrupedra. It's not intense like andrographis or something. 
so it hides in the background and it's a dissolver that's why I chose Quabra Pedra in the background I like to have a background tea behind hibiscus and um, stevia is already a bit of a background to it but that quad Quabra Pedra is like the strength in the background like the bones of the tea <laughs> all right so yeah two minutes but you know you do this for several months twice a day and if you can do it three times a day this smoothie then you, you'll realize you'll feel your advancement so go for that third smoothie when you can you can't do it every day that's all right but you have to do two every day in the morning and the night basically it's one of the first things i have in the morning and well yeah basically one of the last things i have in the night as well um and it's really dissolving now in this tea you could also put the background tea as cascara the moje or moje okay cascara the moje is is a tea i've discovered here in uruguay and it's fantastic for just cutting the mucosa another good one would be olive leaves and uh, lemon myrtle but I'm telling you this cascara the moje um, and it's less uh, like I think uh, not detrimental to this it's like less strong in a bad way lemon myrtles intense you know <clears throat> so this this cascara the moje would be a good tea to put in the background things like the bark of the anacoita tree here in South America um, eucalyptus not really a little bit but and then don't you know really stray too far from this the, the cascara is like a uh, not too far astray from sorry let me rephrase i don't want you to stray too far from the tree barks that's why i mentioned cascara because you could use cinnamon um paudiaco and uh what's the other one cat's claw um but cascara is the best out of those tree barks that's why i said it so Quabra Pedra or Cascara de Moje behind Stevia and Hibiscus is the recipe with banana and it has to be a sour orange, not a sweet orange because um, look into Chinese medicine and, and the sour orange peel and, and sour orange as a great nerve iron and we're trying to kill the nerve bacteria too because they affect your, your brain and your mind and they're connected to the viruses and the worms. Okay, and the banana is going to give you like food banana is food okay so there you go anyway that that's enough um my storage is running out so i have to say that's enough okay um try not to change the recipe this is what i've told you to do look at the theory video for the first two months in the second two months i i started adding more stuff in basically the whole time i had the tea the greens were not there at the start the banana was most of the time there okay so start adding the greens in after you're just dissolving at the start it's just like a full detox at the, the first month like i was eating the naranja and i i have before not this time but i've eaten the entire lemon with the peel sometimes without the peel but that's how i start some of these like detoxes like crazy and then it can get better like this um and then you you actually integrate this because now this is like nice, you know, because it's got the sweet tea and the banana. At the start, it was horrible. So now I'm more happy to do it, you know. Okay, peace. www.consciouszine.net